Hey guys, so it's been requested a lot in the past to do an Alexa Chung inspired look. So that's what I'm going to do for you guys today. Um, it's very simple. Um, <clears throat> from what I've looked at, Alexa always has very natural skin and just keeps it very plain, very simple, but has quite a statement cat eye. So that's what I'm going to do for you guys today. I have just a few products. It's going to be really easy, really simple look. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm just going to talk through this one. I, um, I'm not going to do a voiceover or anything. I'm just going to talk. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. This is just a nude base. I'm sure most of you have seen, have seen this. Um, and this will just even out any discoloration on my lid and help to keep the shadows on my eyes for longer. Um, I've already done my skin quickly just to kind of um, save time. And I'm just going to pull this under the eyes a bit as well because I'm going to have a bit of shadow under there. Okay, so then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this colour. This is Brulee by MAC and I'm going to get the 227 brush. Um, this is just so we can put on the colour really quickly. Um, this is just a great colour because it brightens up the lid and just... It kind of acts in the same way that Painterly does. It just gives you a like a bare canvas and you can just bring that all the way up to the brow bone obviously if you have darker skin you might want to choose a different colour but this is actually quite a good colour for most skin colours let me see if I can swatch it you might not even be able to see it because I'm quite light you can't really see it so what I'm going to do next I'm just going to get the colour Shroom by MAC it's just this one, it's kind of the same as Brulee apart from it has a frost running through it. And I'm just going to use the same brush and I'm just going to place that underneath the brow. <clears throat> so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this colour, this is a Mulch by MAC. I'm going to get it on a pencil brush. This is the 219, um, but it's just a special edition one. I'm going to run that under the lash line. She always has like a, from what I've seen, she always has like this dark kind of shimmery brown under the lash line. This is, this mulch, I think it's a frost, I'm not really sure. Um, and it's, it's just a dark, it's like a, a medium dark brown with like a gold uh, glitter running through it. Or a gold frost even. Um, and it's really nice, it's a really warm colour. What I'm going to do next is I am going to mark out my cat eye. You don't have to mark it out if you kind of know what you're doing, but I'm just going to do it anyway. So I'm going to get the brush that I'm actually going to use for the liner. This is a 263 angle brush from MAC. You can of course use whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable with using. I'm just going to get the mulch colour. I'm just going to draw a line. So once you've done that, um, select your select your um, liner of choice. You can use liquid, you can use whatever. I'm going to use a gel liner and this is Black Track Fluid Line from MAC. And I'm going to use the same brush, a 263 from MAC. You of course can use whatever brush you're comfortable with. I'm just going to get that on. you kind of, she wears it quite thick, but also I do as well, um, so I'm just going to do it kind of the same thickness as I usually would. Like that. You might thicken it up a bit in the inner corner. Like that. So you've kind of just done, um, along the lash line so now you want to connect it to the flick so I'm just going to get a bit more product I'm just going to kind of put that flick in again and I'm just going to drag it across so it connects like that Okay, so I've done the liner. Um, this line may look different, it, but it's just because it's a different shape. I find it really hard to get them to match, but I've done it as even as I 
um, can. So you've done this kind of statement cat eye. So it's always what kind of Alexa does in most of the photos I've seen her with. Um, so I'm just going to get a bit more mulch and just um, deepen up the under eye shadow. She wanted to feel like it connects to the line. Um, in everything I've seen, Alexa has this gorgeous and rosy glow. Um, so I'm going to use this Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush in number 7 Peach Satin. I know that's contradictory because I said rose, but um, this actually comes out quite rosy, although it doesn't look like it on the camera. It does have quite a rosy finish to it. So I'm going to get the MAC 109, which is the perfect size for this pot, actually. Because I find it hard to get in this pot with other brushes sometimes. So you get some on there, but that looks like too much, so dab it on the back of your hand. And then smile, find the apples of your cheeks and just put it there. <laughs> Such a shame because actually this is coming out really nice on my um, cheeks but you can't see it with the lighting. But I'll put photos in or I'll show you somehow. So you have this gorgeous kind of peach, pink rosy glow. Let me see if I can Sorry about my shirt, I just like ripped it just before I did this video. It's kind of messed up. I don't know if you can see it, that's really annoying. The cheeks are done, so now I'm going to go back to the lashes. And I am actually going to use this Body Shop Mascara, this is called the Super Volume Mascara. And, I don't know, Alexa I kind of find it's quite quirky. Um, She's very quirky, in fact, and although she may not wear this, I wanted to add this in just to get that kind of feeling across, so I'm actually going to use a blue mascara. You can, of course, just go with traditional black, but I feel like this. I actually found this yesterday, and I'm dying to use it. Um, I've been really wanting, like, a really awesome blue mascara, and I've had a few, but none of them quite look like this. Yeah. This is from the body shop, and it doesn't cut, go on your lashes this colour exactly, but it looks really pretty, so I'm just going to apply that now. Okay, so there we have the mascara. You can hardly tell that it's blue. When you get it really up close, you can get that kind of blue tint. Um, but from far away, you won't be able to tell it's blue, so yeah. It's kind of fun. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows. Alexa's eyebrows are always really natural, not really filled in or anything, but... Ooh. But hers are a lot darker than mine, so I'm just going to fill mine in. Um, and hers are, like, really nicely shaped anyway. Um, so I have to fill mine in to compensate for that. So as usual, I'm going to get my brow set from MAC. Um, and this is a highlighter. I sometimes use this, I don't always. It's, it's pretty though, I like, It's pretty good. I'm using my MAC 266 brush. I'm just going to fill them in. Um, and last of all is lips. I actually put some lip balm on before I film this video. I always do, um, just so I'm ready to do my lips. And this is a matte colour called Dressmaker Dressmaker. And it's just a light kind of peach nude. Um, she always... I found that she wears pinks or peaches. She never really has a bold lip because she tends to stick with the bold eye. So that is what I'm going to do. through my brows really quickly. So there we have it. There is um, my Alexa Chung inspired look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was helpful and feel free to leave any other requests um, in the comment section below or mail me or message me whatever and I shall see you guys soon. Bye!